today our lecture starts with the construction of uh, constructing the efficient frontier we will be using the critical line approach using excel as you remember okay, when we follow the markets mean various optimization solution uh, we maximize uh, uh, we optimize in other words we minimize risk for a given level of return or we maximize the return for a given level of risk and normally when we follow the minimization of the risk because it's a uh, uh, quadratic optimization equation where the risk has a quadratic value and the constraints are linear uh, otherwise when we maximize return with the condition with the constraints uh, in the constraint when the risk is there what is happening we are optimizing a linear equation where the constraint ha has a quadratic value there. so it's a bit dif become difficult uh, anyhow uh, when we go for the optimization solution so the important thing is the solution there should be a so solution there has to be a solution that it should exist and it should come with speed and accuracy when markowitz presented his uh, uh, mean uh, his uh, his uh, uh, the risk return relationship in 1952 at that time the computers were not that powerful and it was very difficult to build an efficient frontier uh, with speed and accuracy so he developed the algorithm uh, uh, commonly known as critical line algorithm and the cla is uh, is a cl is a is a is a, is, a, is, a, is a algorithm where we optimize our risk uh, with the linear constraints in it uh, this is the basically a, a cla typical cla and if you remember previously when we were uh, optimizing we were only optimizing the risk over here and the, there were in the constraints there were this constraint that all weight should be equal to zero and this was the second constraint and uh, if short sales are not allowed then we go for this constraint otherwise we don't need this constraint when short sales are allowed we don't need this constraint so we were minimizing this uh, the risk of the portfolio with the constraint of the uh, return of the portfolio and all weight should be equivalent to 1 but now what is happening we have developed a new function that is g that is equivalent to the portfolio risk minus lambda into the portfolio return lambda is the uh, objective function which is basically gives us the slope uh and it's got a value of 0 to infinity and normally we can take the values like this these are the typical values that are taken and these are taken from the uh, the matlab uh so why this thing was important if you remember when you build a efficient frontier it it is like this these are the points that we normally get uh, and if you remember comparing this point with this point so this point is efficient and this point is not efficient because we are getting the for the same level of risk we are getting more return over here so this is the last point where the where the if the line goes in because it goes like this the the point where uh, the efficient frontier becomes inefficient and again if you take up here uh, if you draw a line that means the slope is zero and if you draw a line over here the slope will be 1 upon 0 uh so after this point again for the same level of for the same level of uh return you are getting less risk as compared to over here for the same level of return the return is the same but you are getting more uh, less risk as compared to this thing that means this is an efficient inefficient point and these two places are in that means your efficient frontier rise in between these two points in these two points this is your efficient frontier over here the rest is in and this point is known as minimum variance 
मिनिमम वेरियस पोर्टफोलियो और ग्लोबल मिनिमम वेरियस पोर्टफोलियो पॉइंट वेयर यू गेट द मिनिमम मिनिमम रिस्क दैट कैन बी अटेन ओवर एयर देर इज नो पॉइंट बियॉन्ड दिस फिर वेयर यू कैन गेट अ सोल्यूशन फॉर एट बिकॉज दिस होल प्लेस इज द इज इन द डोमेन ऑफ अन अटेनेबल सेट If you remember, there were two set. There were unattainable set and there were attainable set. Then again, in attainable set, there were two sets: uh, inefficient sets and efficient sets. So this is the that point where you can, for a given level of uh, return, you can get the minimum risk for this uh, particular combination of your stocks or the asset returns. Uh. So this is known as global minimum various portfolio, and your efficient frontier. is from here till here now what happens when you go for the you try to build an efficient frontier you get these two these points also and these points are not it needed we only need the efficient frontier till now that the till the global minimum various point and the till, till the point where it becomes the if you draw a point the if you draw a slope over there if the slope has got a value of 0 beyond that point that is this point and these points are inefficient points we don't need them so we need only this thing this is the efficient frontier we want so cla cla helps in in identifying this thing and what happens ke we are minimize minimize if you come back again now i'll try to explain you minimize the risk with the uh, with these lambda values and lambda values are all positive what is happen the lambda is the slope it represent the slopes for example this is the efficient frontier lambda values give the slope this if this is the lambda value it is the lambda value is if it's parallel to x axis that means the lambda value has a value of 0 and or closer to 0 and when it's like this it is closer to uh, the last point will be 1 by 0 that is infinity that means over here lambda values will be large and when you make up the lambda values will be less so the for using different lambda values we can calculate these different points like this optimizing and then when we come convert uh, uh, we will connect them so we'll 